Scott Mills. And here's Lorraine. Hi. Hi. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. You won actual Eurovision. What happened? <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, you got so many points. Yeah. We were sat there with our seven points or whatever it was. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, 200 and what? <laughs> I think it was 300, wasn't it? It was, it was a lot. <laughs> it, was, it was a lot. <laughs> and every time it happened, it cut back to you and you were like, oh, thanks, guys. Even more. Yeah, Thank I you. Couldn't, I really couldn't believe it, though. Um, so you won the Eurovision Song Contest 2012. It's your fault that it's in Sweden next year. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about that. It's a lot of responsibility. <laughs> The video of your performance is on every music channel, like everyone at the moment. Mm. Um, what made you go in for Eurovision? Because some people, Loren, mm. don't take it seriously. <sighs> they don't think it's a serious music contest. Until, until it comes a serious artist. Exactly. No, but I, I, I you know, I, I just do my own thing. It's a stage, it's an audience, and you know, I didn't compromise at all. I just did my own thing and it, it worked. Some of the music, though, is awful. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a bit rude. It's true. I mean, your song is probably the only one we could ever play on Radio 1. Yeah. I, don't, I don't remember there ever being a time when we're like, oh, you know those songs from the Eurovision Song Contest? Let's play them all. Why is that? Because there's a... Did you not see the man with Moldova with a song about a trumpet? No, what was that? Was that the last... He was on, he was on the same semi-final as you. He was. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and the Russian grannies. And the Russian grannies. Oh, but the Russian grannies, they're pretty cute. They were cute. I liked that they had a disco oven. It just cooked <laughs> pies in a record amount of time. <laughs> like three minutes and those pies were done. Did you meet them? I did meet them. Oh, I didn't. I, think, yeah. I thought they were quite deverish. We, we kept you? asking for interviews and they were like, no, the Russian grannies are not doing any interviews. Yeah, because they, they don't speak English, do they? Okay, that's a good point. But uh, there yeah. was a translator. But, you know, they gave me a voodoo doll. They did, a small one. The Russian grannies gave you a voodoo doll? <laughs> Did. What? <laughs> they did. Like a necklace with a small little doll. They made themselves, yeah. What, well, to but say it, well done? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a voodoo doll. <laughs> it looked like a voodoo doll, though. <laughs> when you were... Uh, cute. What made you enter Eurovision in the first place? Um, I had a nice song, and I knew there was going to be a lot of people watching this. Yeah? And I also knew I could create something different. Because that was actually one of the first the first questions I asked. Are you guys going to let me do whatever I want? Because otherwise I won't I won't do this. Okay. And they said yes, basically. Were you pretty confident that you were going to win? No. I never am. Right. I never am, really, honestly. Imagine if the grannies had won. Oh, rubbish, might as well give up. It's <laughs> 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 <Even> close. <laughs> <laughs> that voodoo doll worked. <laughs> Is that what that voodoo doll was meant for? Did they give it to you before? Was it no, like meant actually... to put you off or something? <laughs> no, 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 they gave it to me afterwards. It was a nice gesture, though. The UK did rubbish again. Oh, but that's okay. I think, I think Humperdick. I think he's classy. Yeah. I think he's cool, yeah. It's just a shame. We came to, at one point. I thought we were going to be last. I was like, "Oh, please, no!" But it doesn't matter. You know, so many cultures that that, that you know, people listen differently, and 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 I know I would have given him twelve points. I know. We gave you um, ten points. Thank you for that. From the UK, <laughs> yeah. and your song is doing really well. Wow! It's already been a hit elsewhere, right? I think so. Yeah. It's been like obviously big in Sweden. Big in Sweden. Estonia. <laughs> Not that I've read up about this. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite weird as well because, like, if a song did well here, I'm not sure it would be allowed to enter the Eurovision Song Contest. I don't know what the rules are on that. Because obviously, in some parts of Europe, your song is already very well known. Yeah. Which is a yeah. good thing, I think. I think. Yeah. Should we play it? I think we should. Okay, I think we should. <laughs> here is Loren and Euphoria. You're listening to BBC Radio 1. Hi, Loren. I can't get out of my head. <laughs> I love you, man. I That's love all the you. time. Like, I tweeted it on Friday before you won. I was like, can't get on my head. <laughs> so damn catchy. <laughs> yeah. You see, we need to enter maybe someone a bit younger next year, a lot of people are saying, and we might win. We're not going to win. But it's fun doing the Eurovision Song Contest. It is. And it's fun being there. You can't really describe it. You're kind of in this bubble all week where nothing else actually matters or happens apart from Eurovision. Hmm. 
a bit strange. Yeah. It's, it's did you have a good bit, week? Did you I enjoy did it? I did enjoy it. Yeah, I did enjoy it. Uh, lots of people are saying, Lorraine sounds really cute on the well, radio. You can see her too if you go to the Radio 1 website, <laughs> bbc.co.uk slash Radio 1. We have warned you about the cameras, haven't we? Yeah, on you yeah, you wouldn't okay, the camera. That's why I covered myself up. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you've got a big hood on. <laughs> um, so, in Sweden, where you're from, mm. are you mega, mega famous? I don't know. I, right now, yeah. I, I, I probably am. Yeah. I think so. Can I, you I'm, walk down the road without people recognising you? Uh, but Swedish people, they're soft. They don't, really, they don't really go crazy. Do they not? No. What do they say to you? They like the song, or they like my haircut, or that they can't really see my eyes because of this... <laughs> the big fringe. The fringe, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, but... Uh, do, do, you don't have, do you have people like paparazzi outside your house? Um, I, I had some. I haven't been home. That's true. I slept one day at home, and then I... So where do you live? Stockholm? That's the place. I'd love to go there. You have to. Are you coming next year? Well, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that would be cool. Um, and, I mean, people rooting through your bins, does that happen? I don't think Swedish people would do that, though. No, they They're quite kind of cool they're, and calm. Yeah, they're cool and calm. Yeah. yeah they're proud of So were you on, a, you were on an idol, right? A Swedish pop idol? Yeah, way and when, back when was that? That was eight years ago. Right. Yeah. And you came, what, fourth? Yeah, I right. did. Yeah. You know your stuff, Scott. You see? <laughs> you see? He's a big fan. I'm a big fan, Yeah, man. I love you, man. <laughs> <laughs> um... So, do you think this is going to be the start of actually having some good songs in Eurovision? I, I hope think so. so. I hope so. I hope we're, we're taking it to the next level. Because yeah. it's still a stage, you know, we have an audience, and, you know, why not use it to present some really yeah, nice stuff? Absolutely. It's going um, to be. So, you obviously will be holding it in your, well, it's down to you. You'll be having it probably, do you think it'll be Stockholm next year? I think it will be Stockholm next year. Yeah. You mean the Eurovision? Yeah. Of course it will. And you'll have to go on at the start and be like, yeah, I'm last year's winner. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. Not if I don't want to. But if you guys want me to, I'll, I'll do that. So um, what brings you to the UK? Because did you, did you come straight from Azerbaijan here? No. I was home for, was it one day? Right. Yeah. And then I came to the UK. And then you're just here promoting the single, right? Basically. Well, did you expect it to be, because it's probably going to be top five hit on mm. Sunday, did you expect that after no. Eurovision no, in the UK? All. No, I didn't think about this at all. The only thing I, had, I could focus on was the, the performance and doing a, doing a good job. That, you know, there's so many things that you're doing at the same time, yeah. performing this song. I loved your performance as well, because it was something a bit different. Yeah. Even though a lot of people were like, get her to turn the lights on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like the, the dancing. Point, I thought the dancing was the one. I thought it was brilliant. Did you like it? Yeah. yeah. Who was that bloke behind you? Oh, that that was a dancer, a friend of mine. and uh, he, he, I don't think you needed him. No, really? I think you were doing brilliant yourself. <laughs> really? <laughs> like, like, halfway through, it's like, who's he? Who's he? What's he doing picking <laughs> her up? Put her down. <laughs> what do you mean she didn't need him? <laughs> Say that. Spin him off. She won. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah, you won. So, whatever. <laughs> um, yeah. Listen, thank you so much for coming to see us today. Thank you, Scott. And good luck me. for Sunday with the song Euphoria. We love it. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Lorraine.